Battlebox Mission 36, let's check it out. All right, guys, I have another battle box to bring to you. We're going to go through all the contents. Uh, this one is very timely. It's a active shooter a mass casualty response kit. And as many of you know, with recent events that have happened, uh, having something that you can take care of people in an active shooter type situation is getting more and more of a possibility. And so we're going to go through all the details. I'm going to show you what we have. One of the things about BattleBox, guys, is out of all the subscription boxes that I've seen and that I look at, BattleBox always impresses me. Uh, they just seem to really have the kind of gear that you need, and the price is fantastic for what you're paying for. I mean, you're getting some really good deals. So let's take a look at the Active Shooter Mass Casualty Response Kit. Now we've got the BattleBox right here with the big BattleBox logo, and we're going to check out the contents. Open it up, got everything packed in here, and again, this is for an active shooter mass casualty response kit. Uh, you get your card, and of course it goes through the different basic, advanced, pro, and pro plus, which includes the night of the month club. And then on the back, there's a lot of details, and this is really good to read. There's a lot of information on this card. So we're gonna pull everything out. We're gonna break it down into the different tiers. Now let's start out with the basics. Uh, first off, you get some of the North American Rescue. This is the six inch trauma dressing. Now the North American Responder six inch trauma dressing, uh, this stuff has little tabs right here. They're marked in red so you know where to pull it. And they're large and it gives you a big large flap. So once you open this up, it is sterile. Once you open it, you, you know, you don't use it. Here we have it, we can pull it out. This has a stickable side to it, so once you get it wrapped around, it'll be self-adhesive. It's got a large pad right here, and then you have your gauze. This comes in four inch and six inch, and according to the size of the wound and what you need. Now, unfortunately, rubber dummy here needs some attention, and so we're gonna put the pad over the wound area, and we're just gonna take it and we're gonna stretch it. This stuff is somewhat elastic, so you're able to really get this good and opened up and it's really long. I mean it has a lot of room obviously to be able to go around this torso. And then we just stick it right here. This is going to help to keep that bleeding contained and uh, and be able to give some pressure to the wound. Next we have one of the BattleTac Tactical Molly Glove Dispenser. You have different nitrile gloves. These are in the orange. Uh, there are four pair. So there are eight gloves in here and uh, these are especially important not only to keep blood off your hands but also to keep from contaminating wounds. Uh, we place it here in the bag and then we just pull the gloves right out. Of course it does have the molly and I've attached it to the bag here uh, and then of course you have a little velcro you can fill it here and uh, this allows you to be able to get to these really quickly just right on the side of your pack. Uh, this is really a great idea I mean I love it and uh, this is an elastic material so it's going to help keep those tucked away and i particularly like the orange uh, sometimes if you have black you can't really tell the color especially if you have blood or something on your gloves uh, here you can tell it a lot easier with these orange gloves and again there's four pair that are stuffed in here but i think you could probably put quite a few more next we have a tourniquet and shear pouch and uh, this is with the tq4 tourniquet has a, a hook and loop field open it up and of course you can put your tourniquet in here and also your medical shears. Now I've already attached the tourniquet and shear pouch. Uh, this has some elastic keepers right here to be able to bring it down. There's a nice hook and loop field and embroidered is a TQ which is for tourniquet and that is on a hook and loop field. Then you have your orange tab to be able to pull that up, open it up, take whatever kind of tourniquet that you use. Uh, I typically use cat tourniquets, bring it down uh, one thing I noticed on the back was there's a molly strip that comes down, but then there are brass snaps, and these are really nice. And so you can bring this through. It makes it even more secure. Next, we have the BattleTac uh, trauma shears, and uh, these are great, especially to protect people uh, You know, when you're trying to remove clothing to be able to get to a wound, and uh, this will help protect them, and uh, yet it's very effective. Now, if there's a wound underneath and we need to check it, uh, taking a standard knife and trying to cut this is really dangerous, especially in a stressful situation. And so we can take our trauma shears and just cut back where we need to. 
but here we can get to this area we need to work on really easily. And right here behind the tourniquet there's a channel where you can just slide in your trauma shears. And this keeps this in one area. And you can put this on your pack wherever you want to. Uh, I've just put it on this little pouch. And then we have the Gloco LED disposable triage lights. Uh, it's three packs. Uh, first thing you need to do is to remove this little tab and it just allows for the battery to make contact. Uh, right here we have an on off button. Press it once. We have red. Red is for critical. I mean this is someone that's really in trouble. Uh, and then we do it again, it goes to yellow. This is somebody that's stable, but yet needs medical attention. Uh, then we go to blue, which is deceased. And then green means just minor injuries. Of course, this poor fellow's really had a rough day. And we can put either immediate, pull this off, stick it to him, lets them know what's going on. Or if we need to adjust it, of course, we can go to the different colors. Unfortunately, I think this guy's blue. <laughs> looks like uh, he's not gonna make it and these are waterproof so like right now it's raining uh, this is not necessarily submersible but it's definitely weather resistant and it will go for a long time there's a five-year shelf life with these as well and so all of these items are in the basic the cost is $24.99 the value is $44.56 next we have the halo chest seals now here we have the halo seals and these are chest seals there are two that are included in this one for the front one for the back or if you need two for two different patients, just rip it. There's a place there for it. It makes it really easy to rip. We can pull out our chest seal. And again, guys, this is for like a sucking chest wound. If somebody's lungs collapsed or there's blood and there's air coming, you need to get that stopped. And so here we have a backing. There's a small tab. Rubber dummy's been shot. He's having a hard time breathing. There's definitely some air coming out of his lung. So we're going to just peel this off and place it right on. To the area um, i'll tell you what guys this is pretty wet out here but this is sticking really well uh, you'll want to make sure you clean this area off though before you use it and i'm not trying to give medical advice uh, definitely you know, i'm not a paramedic but uh, i do a lot of training with skinny medic and uh, this is one of the areas that we talk about and so we can cover this up and at least allow him to breathe uh, and get that air where it's stopped now these are non-vented there are some that are vented that actually allow for you know air and blood to escape but these are just sealed and then again make sure you check the back if you need to put one on the back you can and then we have the rescue litter now this thing is awesome uh, if you need to get people out of the way uh, very easily and we're going to demonstrate this place whoever's in need of care right on here you can do it grab it this way you can grab it this way and then pull it. that is a cool setup and the advanced kit is $49.99. Uh, that includes not only these two items, but also all the items in the basic. And the retail value is $83.51. For the pro kit, you get a combat medical bag. This is large, it's nice. There's a lot of features on this bag. And a lot of the Molly attachments that we've seen in the basic kit will go on here. So this gives you a complete kit. The combat medic bag has a, really a lot of cool features. Uh, it's got a lot of Molly attachments, a lot of hook and loop all around it. I love this little grab handle right here at the top and of course this pops open so you can get to all your gear. It actually gives you a little bit of security. We have paracord where you can tie things down and then you can see these loops. It's got like uh, rubberized loops around nice and large to be able to get this open easily. Uh, here's just a little front pouch. You've got some elastic bands. You've got a little mesh pocket here with a zipper. Here at the front we have double zippers. Bring this down be able to get in little mesh sleeves, pockets in the back, and uh, a lot of room. And it does have this kind of vinyl material that's going to help keep it weather resistant. And the stitching on here, you can see, is pretty good. Side pockets on either side, and uh, these just open up. A lot of room in here. And another side pocket on this side. For the main pocket, we have two pulls. Open this up. Now, in here right now, I've got the uh, litter. <laughs> when it stuffed it in there just to make the bag look a little nicer but it will fit inside the top you have a mesh zippered little sleeve with elastic bands with a sleeve and then also a mesh pocket in the back and really a lot of room and a grommet at the bottom on the back we have molly attachments with straps uh, you can actually put this on a plate carrier or some kind of vest and then of course molly attachments here and then we have 
a hook and loop little pouch and this is an admin pouch and it goes all the way through and on the side we have little padded areas right here and we have a waist belt with Duraflex buckles now there's a lot of carry methods with this bag um, of course you can just throw it on your shoulder has this grab handle so if I need just to pick it up and go especially if I'm going from patient to patient or victim to victim I can just grab this and I can move with it this is all fully adjustable as well uh, but one thing too that's really cool is that it has waist straps I can attach it like this I can bring it around if I need to help and get into my bag and then with the shoulder strap I can actually put it just over my neck and it gives me that much more just stability now the way this bag is designed there are a lot of different ways you can set this up to your personal needs uh, I have my gloves right here on the side I can get right to them if I need to and of course it's just where it's really handy uh, my knife is right here of course my tourniquet and my shears everything is just right here accessible If I need to get into the bag I can also do that very easily I mean it's just very useful and guys this isn't a max expedition and obviously the bag would cost as much as the entire kit but for what it's used for this is a great little bag also we have a blood type patch set and this is obviously a hook and loop field so you can place this on your gear wherever you need to um, this will identify and of course you know one great thing about having all of these is you can give them out to friends and guys you need to know your blood type first thing you want to do is get a medical patch be able to put that on there it recognizes this as first aid and then also if you wanted to put your blood type you could actually put it on the side uh, here we have a hook and loop field we can just put it right on there and that way they know what you've got going on or wherever you want to put it but uh, having these little patches are great for your own safety you won't necessarily know what blood type especially if somebody's unconscious but uh, this is definitely a great way to be able to to identify your blood type comes with medical tape now the medical tape can be used for a number of different things of course holding on bandages things like that but as we have this chest seal already applied you can take the actual package that it comes in apply it use the tape and tape it down and at least have an improvised a way to be able to stop that uh, air from flowing in and out and of course there's a ton of other uses for the tape then we have triage bands okay, we have a lot of options uh, whether it's minor, delayed, immediate, deceased, or expectant. Here we take it, just pull the tape off, it's perforated, remove the little tab in the back, put it around your wrist or whatever you can, and then you have it right here on your wrist. I was expecting this to be a good box, and it is. And this kind of coincides with the Gloco disposable triage lights. And then we have the Tactical Combat Casualty Care Cards. TCCC for short. <laughs> but here we've got a lot of information you can put on here. If there's certain areas that someone's injured or hurt, you can actually mark it here with this marker, which is included. Again, the Casualty Care Cards have a lot of places to be able to put information. And of course, we put the name right here with Rubber Dummy, uh, where we've applied the chest seal. We have it circled. We have his blood type, if he's still conscious and he knows it, and the time. And time is really important uh, to be able to know when this was applied. And so, and then of course, again, there is a ton of information on here. And um, again, this really helps to identify problems. And in a mass casualty situation, there's going to be just pandemonium and chaos. And this is one way to kind of at least help uh, kind of organize and control things. And you get a whole stack of these cards. Now, the value on the Pro is $148.50, but you get this for $99.99. And that includes the advanced and the basics that we've just shown. And now for the Pro Plus. Uh, this is Knife of the Month Club. You get one of the Fox Knives FX213. And this is an emergency knife. There's a lot of really cool features, even the sheath. Uh, these are made in Italy. This gives you a lot of different features, especially toward trauma. Now this is a really high quality knife. Uh, it does have the flipper so you can get it out. Uh, it's got a really good solid blade to it. Uh, you have serrations right here, which is great for being able, especially if you need to cut something, uh, especially clothes or things like that, you can do it. Uh, and then you have your guard right here, which this also doubles as a screwdriver. And then you have a Phillips head screwdriver on the back. It's a nice large button. Uh, so if you want to pull it this way, you can open it up. And again, that screwdriver acts as a flipper. 
you have a bottle opener right here carbide tip for breaking through windows and you can put a nice lanyard on here if you want to it's kind of a delron type finish uh, and then we have the plastic or polymer scales and then these little areas right here are rubber so it gives it makes it really tacky i mean you can hold on to this very easily and it has a nice pocket clip so if you wanted to throw it in your pocket you could and then again you have your liner lock to be able to make it really secure this is a really cool tool. I have a number of different tools. In fact, I have the Benchmade Triage. And uh, this is actually superior because it has a lot of different features, especially in a very serious catastrophic type situation. And so the blade is three inches long, so it doesn't get too long uh, because of, you know, local laws. But guys, I'll tell you, this is a really nice tool. Now, the sheath is something I particularly like. There's some little tabs right here, and you just push them back like this and then it releases your molly uh, attachment and then you can just go through it bring up your tabs and you can lock this in and that way you can get to it and yet it's really secure uh, to release this you have to actually pull out and then up so while it is secure it's fairly easy to access but you've got to really mean to do it I really like this little sheath system. The knife is the blaze orange color, so you can get to it, you can see it, and then if you drop it, you can find it. So here is the Pro Plus kit all laid out. Uh, guys, this will give you an excellent start for a trauma kit. Uh, and not just one of the little small IFAX, but something that you could treat a number of different people with. And again, in this environment today that we live in, it's unfortunate, but this is a necessary item, guys. If you don't have a trauma kit, you need one. If you're a shooter, you definitely need one. I keep a trauma kit with me at all times. This not only allows you to be able to help in a bad active shooter mass casualty situation, but let's say something happens to your own family. And having something like this could mean the difference between life and death. So guys, whether you go with BattleBox or whatever, I highly recommend having the right tools and get training. There's a ton of different classes all over the country to be able to learn this kind of stuff and guys it's not black magic it's really simple but if you know what to do you're really going to make a difference now guys this is not a complete trauma kit obviously i've got the tourniquet in here and hemostatic uh, galls would be great or a lot of other things that you can put in here and this is really made to set it up like you need to uh, but this will give you a really good start. Uh, of course, like Band-Aids, things like that, you know, they're not in there. But antibiotic ointment, Betadine, outfit this the way you want. You know what you've got. It's right here. And it's, again, a lot better than just a small first aid kit or even a standard trauma kit. This gives you a lot of options. Now I want to thank BattleBox for not only sending Mission 36, but also working with me together to give you guys a 10% discount using Summer 10 in the description. I know it's winter, but that's the code. Uh, that is affiliate code, so the Suits channel also benefits and keeps us here on YouTube. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Really geared toward the active shooter or mash casual... So let's take a look at the active shooter mash ca mash casualty. So let's take a look at the active shooter mash. Next, we have a uh, while you're pulling those, while you're cutting those clothes off, okay, while you're cutting that area, while you're getting that, while you're. Okay. This is for check. Okay. This is for checking self wounds. <laughs> I was ex hush. It's just great to have 